Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of Wade's new Piano VI. This is the Grand Rhapsody, and it's been sampled from quite a popular Grand Piano, previously owned by Freddie Mercury, and has featured on quite a few records by some popular artists. Now the first thing to point out is that we've got two packages that we can download for this standard or HD and the HD is about 14 gigabytes and the standard set of samples is six gigabytes that's nice that we've got a choice there now in this review I'm going to be using the standard set of samples just because I've run out of hard drive space now let's just give you a very quick overview of the GUI at the top we've got this graphic of the piano and you see these microphones uh, these mics don't move. Don't think that you can be dragging these around like you'd find in other instruments or plugins. At the bottom, we've got three microphones that we can load up and we can adjust the volume of each of these. Offset the delay, so it kind of simulates moving the microphones back in the space. And each of these microphones, we've got solo, mute, and we can flip the phase and a nice selection of microphones as well. It's got a velocity curve to the left, which is quite nice. So if I have it all the way to the left, I can hit my MIDI controller quite hard. And it'll be quite a soft sound if I turn it the other way round and play with the same dynamic. I'm going to get much more of a, an immediate response from the velocity. So that's quite nice. To the right, we've got some processing here. So a compressor, EQ, reverb, and an output limiter and output volume trim as well. Now we've got this key up and pedal section here. And if I just press my foot on my sustain pedal, can hear there's a slight thud. Same with the keys, we've got this key up sound. If I just turn it up. Heard that? That's the hammers hitting the hammer rail by the sounds of it, which is quite nice. But what I will say is that this key up and pedal just sounds a little bit too exaggerated for my taste. I mean, I've mic'd up a few grand pianos and obviously upright pianos, because that's what I've got at home. Uh, and I've got to say, I haven't noticed in the past that the key up and pedal noise is uh, that prominent when you're miking a grand piano from the top. But we've got faders here, so that's nice. We can actually turn this off if we don't like it at all or set a very gentle amount. Now, I've got a little piano demo here that I'm just going to play around. And whilst that's going around, I'm going to adjust some of these levels here of microphones. You can hear each of these in action. And I'm going to put in the compressor and have a little play around with some of the EQ. Compressor. Push the pedal in. It's a bit much. Key up. Again, it's a bit much. Bring it down. Okay, so let's try the third mic. Let's increase that. room mic, let's push that in and just delay it ever so slightly. Let's just soften the velocity curve a little bit. Listen for it. Keys up, pedal up. Nice. So, so far I'm quite impressed. Waves have done, from what I can hear, quite a good job of actually capturing the essence of a grand piano. Now, what else can this do? Let's have a little go again, back round there. I'm going to engage the reverb. I'm going to have a little go with the formant and the sustain resonance, and again, a little bit more of the compression to see if we can get this to sound not like a grand piano, something a little bit more outside of the box. Sounds nice. Let's check the mechanical noise out. there, not 
sure what they are. Let's try the foreman the other way around. So what's my final thoughts on the Grand Rhapsody by Waves? Well, I remember trying this out at NAMM 2017, right at the beginning of this year, and it was kind of a preview plugin at the time. Um, it wasn't working very well, but I was still impressed with the sound uh, from what I could tell from the show floor. And now I've got it in the studio and I can properly test it. I've got to say, I am very impressed. I think it performs better just being a straightforward grand piano VI. It does a very good job. It feels really nice to play and the standard set of samples you know, they do a really good job. I haven't tried the HD samples yet, but I can't imagine there's going to be much of a difference between the two. But these sound great. It's definitely worth having a go for yourself. Waves do offer a demo of this, so go grab yourself a demo and let us know your thoughts on the Grand Rhapsody by Waves in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll catch you next time.